You need to become friends with more people that are confident and tomorrow you have to cut out one of your friends who's pessimistic and negative out of your life. Not totally, but you don't need to talk to her or him three times a day, maybe three times a month. Hey, what's up everyone? I want to thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Brendan St. Brown and this is Happiness X. My purpose on this earth is to educate, entertain, and inspire by spreading hope, hustle, and health. The reason why you should subscribe to this channel is because I give away happiness hacks for people who are in the process of growing. So scroll down to the bottom of the page, hit that subscribe button, because your future self will thank you that you learned these tricks now. In today's video, we're gonna talk about something that is hard to come by, something that we all struggle with, and that is how to build confidence. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys Gary V's five hacks to building confidence. Gary V's first hack is earn your pillow. What does this mean? Work really hard throughout the day, so at night, when you come to your bed, and you lay down for the first time, you have that feeling of relaxation and accomplishment. Earn your pillow. In layman's terms, this means you need to grind. Many entrepreneurs have different philosophies on how to get to the top. Some say work smarter, not harder. Some say find mentors. Gary Vee's philosophy is all about grinding. Gary Vee says work hard for four years so you can do whatever you want for the next 40 years. Four for 40. But when people hear you have to wait for four years, they get turned off. We are wired to seek instant pleasure and instant gratification. But leave that at the door. Grinding is really important on building confidence because this is your first ingredient. Your competence is your confidence. What does competence mean? Competence is your ability to do things well. In order to get competence, it starts with grinding and getting 1% better every day. Skill is a product of hours of work. Gary Vee's second hack is praise yourself. Gary Vee says a huge problem today is people don't love themselves enough. There's a standard of perfection that we all try to live up to, but who created that standard of perfection? Gary Vee says people critique themselves all day long, and that's not always good. The idea and the method of praising yourself might be one of the most important things that is not prioritized. When it comes to the idea of praising yourself, it can get misconstrued with bragging about yourself. But exchange the phrase bragging about yourself with proud about yourself. People respect people who are proud of themselves. When it comes to how to praise yourself, I'll be the first person to admit it. Whenever someone gives me a compliment, I write it down. This is because when you're in that room alone, and those thoughts start to creep up that you're not good enough, you're not putting enough work, you're not cut out for this. I have those compliments to remind me that I'm doing something right. Gary Vee's third hack is ignore the opinions of others. Gary Vee says, every single thing I ever did in my life, people always said that is stupid. Whenever you do something early and it's not mainstream yet, it will always be met with criticism. In 1994, People said the internet would never stick around. Looking back, how stupid is that? In the process of getting to the top, remember this. First, they will ignore you. Second, they will laugh at you. And then it isn't until third where they praise you and they say, I always knew you could do it. When you run, you can't reach full speed if you're always looking back. I call it the three corner principle. All you need is three people in your corner. Find three people who you trust and respect and they respect and support you. Those are the three opinions that you should care about. Gary Vee's fourth hack is leave seeds of empathy. Someone asked Gary Vee, how do you respond to hate comments? And he said, with empathy. To drag someone down, think about it. To drag someone down. In order to drag someone down, that means they are already below you. And if they're trying to do that, you have to feel sorry for them. The world that you believe is the world that you will see. I operate on the frequency of love and gratitude. My fluid thoughts are derived from love and gratitude. So if someone's trigger response is hate, 
understand in their mind all they see is hate and anger. And that means there's not a lot of winning going on. Successful people don't spend time hating others. It's not in the gene of success. Think about it. Do you think Michael Jordan is writing negative YouTube comments? Gary Vee's fifth hack is your compass is self-awareness. Gary Vee was asked, what do you do in your free time? And he said, I build businesses. That's all I know and that's what I love. This falls on the principle of identifying your strengths. This is your LeBron factor. Head to head, no one can beat you. Speed or strength. Being able to outpower everyone seems nice, but that's not my strength. God gifted me with speed. I can outrun just about anyone. So that should be my basis. Focus my game around my strengths. Let's say you can make the best bacon, egg, and cheese, but you also love basketball. However, you're five foot eight. And in the NBA, everyone is just about seven foot. With that skill set, you will have more success in pursuing being a professional chef. Self-awareness means two things to me. One, knowing your strengths and weaknesses, but also not having a distorted perception of reality. I call this, don't go to the party without any Old Spice. What does this mean? I was at a party with one of my good friends and I'm standing next to him and I could smell he did not put on any deodorant. So as a good friend, I was like, bro, you smell like, and he was like, nah, 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 man, I'm good. So as the party goes on, I see as he approaches girls, girls are walking the other way. Do not have a distorted perception of reality. A key rule to confidence is self-awareness, and that's knowing do not go outside your boundaries. If you guys made it through the video, I appreciate you. In the comments down below, comment Gary V to show some love. If you like my content, don't forget to hit that like button. For more happiness hacks, you can subscribe to my channel right here and check out my next video right here. In the meantime, everyone stay great and I'll catch you all on the other side.